Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Hungry Tourist, where I give you a virtual tour of the places I go. Today, we are going on a walking tour of the beautiful Brooklyn Bridge in New York. And if you are enjoying my videos, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so I can keep putting out content. It really helps with the algorithm. Let's go. On our trip, we took the subway from Manhattan, where we were staying, to Brooklyn. We spent some time in Brooklyn and checked out Dumbo and walked back to Manhattan via the bridge. This is considered by some people the preferable walk because you are facing the Manhattan skyline the entire time. Whoa, look at that incredible view. It's absolutely breathtaking. Some things you should know before you go. The Brooklyn Bridge connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn by spanning the East River. Walking the bridge is free and you can start from either side and come back the same way you came across by turning around. This way you get two different views. The bridge is 1.3 miles long one way. It should take you between 30 minutes to an hour to walk across the bridge depending on your pace and the amount of stops you take. The pedestrian lane is completely fenced off from the car so it's completely safe to walk. The best time to walk the Brooklyn Bridge is the early morning and the late afternoon or evening. This is when the bridge is less crowded and you will have more of the place to yourself to take pictures, enjoy the views, and have some away time from the hustle and bustle of the city. For architecture lovers, this bridge is the ultimate New York landmark. The bridge is constructed using cable suspensions and two stone neo-gothic towers. It's a masterpiece and comes alive when the sun comes through the steel wiring or reflects off the tall buildings. From the Brooklyn Bridge, you can also get a good look at the Manhattan Bridge, which is also a suspension bridge that crosses the East River connecting Lower Manhattan with downtown Brooklyn. When you get to the middle area, you can walk around and get a 360 degree view of the skyline, as well as read the historical markers. The bridge was designed and constructed by John A. Roebling and his son, and officially opened on May 24, 1883. It was named a National Historic Landmark in 1964. At this time, the Brooklyn Bridge was the longest suspension bridge in the world. Its erection was deemed a monumental moment in American engineering. Let me know in the comments what your favorite bridge is. So many iconic landmarks but the Brooklyn Bridge is definitely up there for me. When you have come to the end, congratulations! You have reached Manhattan. There will be many vendors along the way selling all kinds of interesting things. Maybe it's a good time to buy I Love New York Magnet or not. Either way, be prepared for some crowds as you enter the city. Thank you so 
so much for watching and if you enjoyed, please hit that like and subscribe button so I can see you again. I'll be posting more New York travel videos and you can check out some I have linked as well. So come join. Until next time, take care of yourself and others.